Hi there. Today I'll be speaking to you about Ron Hicks and his painting Thirsty, and then we'll hear a few words from Ron. He joined our gallery earlier this year, and we're so pleased to have him, because not only is his work incredibly powerful, it's thrilling to look at. As I was getting to know Ron, I asked him what this painting means to him, and he explained to me that he really prefers to initiate a dialogue between the painting and the viewer rather than dictate it. I spent several weeks looking at this painting, and it's really a unique experience, something that can't be experienced in only a moment. Every time I look at it, I see new color, new shape, new texture, and I even experience new emotions. What a talent to be able to produce something that gives you a new experience every time you view it. Let's take a closer look. Hi all, Ron Hicks here. I thought I'd take the opportunity uh, to introduce myself, take a break. Um, I recently joined the Bonner David Gallery um, and I can't tell you how delighted I am about this decision. Uh, my wife and I um, met uh, Christy and Clark and the staff and it was one of the most amazing experiences I've had. Um, I felt as though I would walk. I was walking into like a family reunion or something like that, you know, where yeah, I've known them forever and we were just having a, a, a blast. Um, and what I've come to know out of that uh, that meeting and even knowing knowing the uh, the staff and the the, uh, uh, the gallery for the, the past several months is that they take care of their artists, they take care of their clientele, and they take care of their staff. And those are three of the most important things to me. Um, is that everyone is working together in a cohesive way to make sure that everyone is taken care of. Uh, and it's not often that you see that thing happening, at, at least in this way. Uh, a little bit about myself, I've been painting for most of my uh, adult life. I um, started out very traditional in the way that I approached artwork. Uh, but, you know, during the course of that time, I was introduced to many, many, many different disciplines. And I, I would say, um, starting about 14 years ago, I, I, I started to come to the conclusion that there's more to art than just uh, um, transferring information. And I wanted to make, you know, some strides into, you know, well, what is it if it's not just that? And after studying many of the disciplines, I, I wanted to, um, you know, see how these uh, disciplines sort of uh, either cross-contaminated, how they are, were a part of the same body. And I came to the conclusion that, you know, there is this relationship. And so if I'm looking at my work, especially the current body of work, um, it's really my endeavors to say something in a harmonious way about, you know, those connections. Um, uh, it's almost as if saying, well, you know, these hands are, don't belong to this body. Uh, I think that it's, it's all connected in some sort of way. And um, that's what I'm trying to do in exploring um, this work from a technical standpoint um, but from an emotional standpoint and one that I think is even more important than that you know I over the years have uh, developed this emo this uh, intuitive tool um, uh, box that I draw from and between that and the uh, the emotive side that I, I sort of mix into this uh, the technical side of it it has now become uh, more important to say something in an emotional intuitive way uh, than it has been ever in my career. So a lot of the uh, paintings that you'll see are really based on, you know, how I've dealt with, uh, you know, it could be, uh, you know, something that's happened in the past, it could be something that's in current events, you know, so I'm taking all this information in and I'm spitting it out in a certain way. And I'm utilizing these, uh, you know, these, these disciplines or this cross-contamination of these disciplines to say something about them. So it wouldn't be uncommon for you to look at you know, any of my pieces and you'll see where there's some areas where there's uh, you know, some thin layers of paint versus some thicker layers, some larger shapes versus smaller shapes, some more abstract shapes 
versus some that uh, are more recognizable. Uh, in my opinion, um, most of my paintings uh, kind of fall more into the abstract art um, uh, category, uh, and mainly because I think everything is comprised of shapes. So if, even if I look at something that's more realistic, it's comprised of many, many, many small shapes that are just recognizable. So, you know, with that said, I'm able to kind of work across these disciplines and make sure that uh, I am tackling some of the things that I uh, uh, aforementioned. Uh, but without getting into all that and boring you to death, I really wanted to say, hey, um, it's a, a pleasure uh, to meet you. Thank you for allowing me to uh, take a moment of your time. Thanks to the Bonner Data Gallery for allowing me to be a part of your situation. And I am looking forward to seeing you guys in one way or another. Thank you so much and you have a good day.